Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, June 14th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth for Longmont Public Media. And I thought I'd mix it up a little bit this time and record outside next to the observatory. So behind you is the Cherrywood Observatory. Saturday, June 17th is a new moon. So nothing to see there. And the sunspots right now are not pointing directly at Earth, at least not many of them. So it's kind of quiet on the surface of the sun. Speaking of summer, the first day of summer is Wednesday, June 21st this year. 8.58 a.m. is the exact moment of the equinox. Looking at drought conditions, things just keep getting better. We have lost more of the drought out here. We just have a little bit on the plains just down here in the southeast corner, but not much. Looking nationally, we've also seen a lot of improvement in Oklahoma, Texas Panhandle part of the uh, nation. And everything else is doing pretty well. It's, it's good. Um, of course, smoke has been making the news, especially in the East Coast. Uh, we have fires up in this part of Canada and fires in uh, the northeast or eastern part of Canada. And just uh, the last couple of days, some of the smoke has been wrapping back around and reaching uh, Colorado. But southwest winds, we're going to look at in just a moment, are heading in to uh, push that back up to the Great Lakes and Northern Plains. Let's do our animation of snowpack. And it's above to much above, remember. And then as we seasonally go back down to um, no snow, we're still above normal. The cool temperatures and the copious amounts of precipitation have given the higher peaks a uh, bump in snow. So we're still above normal as we enter summer. We'll probably look at this one more time and then we will be in summer. Okay, precipitation, this is just shocking. So look at this, the reds to purples are six, eight, and even above 10 inches of precipitation to the southeast of Denver and out on the plains. Western slopes kind of missing it, but they are getting at least a little bit of moisture and they are their great snowpack put them ahead for the year hydrologically. So they're doing still okay, even without precipitation happening out there. But the front range and I-25 corridor is just amazing. Okay, taking a look at the animation of severe weather uh, climatology. We have, we're pretty much a peak right now. This is gonna be our greatest chance of of uh, severe weather and we've been having a lot of hail there's I guess just about every roof uh, south of uh, Loveland and even into Denver is gonna have to be replaced in the next couple of years wouldn't do it yet so don't don't get the roofers up there yet because we still are in the middle of it speaking of severe weather we have just a chance of convection on Wednesday a big tornado outbreak is uh, likely down here in the southeast that inches back towards us. As always, they're kind of conservative, so the when the day arrives, when Thursday arrives, this could be drawn a little bit further to the west and north. And Friday, it's nearby, Colorado Springs, not up to Denver, but that could change when we get to Friday. And we're getting some breezes here. Hopefully that's not picking up on the mic. Uh, looking at the surface map, you can still see a mix of snow and rain at the higher elevations. This is Wednesday, kind of dry on the plains for Wednesday. But then everything is uh, getting storms again on Thursday with mountain snows. And then Friday, uh, very similar. In fact, Friday should be quite wet. We'll take a look at that in just seconds. Here is our normal temperature on the ensemble going from 82 up to 85. We are definitely heading into summer 52 to 56 for the normal low temperature so just feeling great if you go out and camp there's dry on wednesday increasing chances on thursday and friday saturday we get a dry spell in the early part of next week and temperatures get up towards normal but not that high well maybe one day and then afternoon thunderstorms return later next week so looking at the water vapor satellite image, we do have a, a trough coming in the west coast and a flow of moisture out of the Pacific here. And we still have some moisture coming in at the mid to low levels from the, the plains. It's kind of cut off right there. But I'm taking a look at Thursday noon. We have this ridge to our uh, east 
and the first of a couple troughs are starting to come across the state. Moisture increases and we get widespread thunderstorms Thursday into Friday. That all changes very abruptly on Sunday with a ridge coming back over the state. And let's take a look at that in motion. That's going to really heat us up very fast. So Friday, Thursday into Friday, you can see a little complex trough kind of getting together and then moving past. If this wind does turn out to be a problem, I won't do this outside again. But here's our ridge for the end of the weekend, beginning of next week. And there's a big trough coming into the northeast, but northwest, but we have southwest flow aloft bringing desert, uh, dry, hot air to our direction. That kind of goes up through the northern tier of states in Canada and we get a ridge back with some moisture that will be coming in. So let's take a look at the cool air in place now. It sloshes off. We got rain cooled air and thunderstorms embedded in there. Again a little cool front but then a lot of precipitation cooling on Friday into Saturday and then that blob moves off and even with the northwest trough coming in we warm up pretty quickly in the, you know, above normal temperatures at the beginning of next week there's our southwest flow lots of cool air out in the west yeah, but we stay warm until the end of next week when cool air comes through and some moisture returns there's afternoon thunderstorms right there so let's look at this moisture flow this is moisture up in the atmosphere, precipitatable water. It really uh, is above normal through the end of this week. Fueling all the rain and thunderstorms that we'll be getting. Then to Sunday, start seeing dry air coming in, especially east of the Rockies. There's a lot of dry air for the early part of next week. And then we try to get some monsoon type moisture coming in, a little bit of Gulf moisture out on the plains. Not really getting here until later in the week. Okay, this is the surface moisture now, and right now we got 40s and 50s for dew points. That's very high for Colorado still, so that's our surface fuel for the thunderstorms and rain. The dry air is lurking down here in Arizona, and we get into Monday, and it starts to spread up into the state. We drop to the 20s and 30s for dew point um, values. There's still lots of moisture not far away on the plains, and that's going to help then get rain and thunderstorms and maybe get rid of that drought uh, problem there. I've got extremely dry air. We've got dew points down around single digits, so you have to go far below freezing to get any moisture to form out of the air on something. Yeah, take a look at the precipitation. It moves in again quickly on Thursday. We've got mountain thunderstorms out on, moving out on the plains. Then Saturday, another round, maybe a little more central southern Colorado. And then coming into Sunday, we dry out. There goes the big truck. Sorry about that. Ah, that's what you get for filming on location. Okay, so over the next five days, uh, there's a strange little cutoff of precipitation right here on the New Mexico border, going out 10 days. Whoa. Um, still lots of moisture for all of the state, in including the western slopes. So 80s for Wednesday, dropping down to pretty cool, chilly, wet, high chances for precipitation on Friday. Oh boy. Being on location is not the best. All right, and then we're still kind of cool on Saturday with chance of storms. Things dry out and warm up quickly next week. Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader, great uh, local sources of news and frequent weather updates. This has been your weather forecast. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Innsworth. Keep looking up.